in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and mercy of Allah be upon his last and beloved Master Muhammad, and may the peace and mercy of Allah be upon you all. The title of this episode is How to Prove from a Scientific Point of View That There Is No God Except Allah God Almighty and That Prophet Muhammad Is His Last Messenger. So in this episode, Allah God willing, I will show how to prove this from a scientific point of view. And this is the first time you hear such words. Now, how to prove that there is no God except Allah God Almighty and that Prophet Muhammad is his messenger. The key to, for accomplishing this task can be found in the last revelation of Allah God to people of the Quran in verse 30 of chapter 21 of the Quran which states, Have not those who disbelieve known that the heavens and the earth were joined together as one weaved tapestry, weaved fabric, and Allah tore them apart. And Allah God has made from water every living thing Will they not then believe? So, if we ponder and reflect upon this Quran verse and see how does it contain a scientific proof to the fact that there is only one God, Allah God Almighty, and that Prophet Muhammad is his messenger. Now we see that Allah at the beginning of the verse points to a person who disbelieves in him, who denies the existence of God, like an atheist. And at the end of the verse, he points to a person who believes in him. So we see that at the beginning there is a kind of indication to a person who does not believe in God, and at the end, a person who believes in him. So we can conclude from this that there should be a great sign between these two indications that transforms a person from a state of disbelief to a state of belief. So what is this great sign? Now, I will, I will concentrate and we can find this sign in the statement in this verse that Allah God has made from water every living thing. Now, there is a common understanding for this verse between the majority of Muslims that they explain it as follows, that water is essential for life and if there is no water, there is no life. This explanation, this explanation is 100% wrong. It's a wrong explanation. It's not right. How can I say that? Now, to prove that it's wrong, it's a wrong explanation that water is essential for life. If there is no water, there is no life. Let's ponder upon how Allah God created the angels. Now, Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, teaches us that Allah created the angels from light. Allah God might create the angels from light. Now, we know that the angels they don't drink water. The angels they don't drink water. So according to the common explanation of this verse, this means that the angels should be dead. It's a dead system. It's not a living system. While we know that the angel, for example, angel Gabriel, he used to talk to Prophet Muhammad and deliver Allah, God, revelation to him. So the angels is a living system. So we see that this explanation for this verse, the common explanation, is wrong. So what's the correct explanation for this? Now, we can understand this, uh, the explanation for this verse from the word that Allah made from water and living thing. Now in Arabic, the word is waja'alna. This word means a transformation in shape while the essence remains the same. For example, you say that I made water into ice, meaning that the liquid water is transformed into ice while the essence is the same, it's water. So, what this means that Allah God Almighty made from water every living thing, meaning that He created everything from water. So, which means that you as a human, you are water in the form of a human. The, the trees, water in the form of trees, insects, water in the form of insects. So, it's a great sign of Allah God Almighty, as I will prove in a minute, that everything we see around us is water in different shapes. Now, let's prove this. If we think about the structural organization of water, we see that Allah God Almighty arranged the atoms in water in hexagonal cells. So Allah placed the atoms in water in a hexagonal pattern. Now if we ponder upon how Allah designed the eyes of insects, we see that they have this hexagonal shape as well. So Allah designed the insects like water exactly. 
So insects, they are water in the form of insects, different shape, but it's water from the inside. It has the same design of water. If you look at humans, for example, our muscles, and if we study the design of skeletal muscles, we see that Allah arranged the, main, the components of muscles in a hexagonal pattern, like water exactly. And if, we, for example, we look at trees, we see that Allah designed wood material in a hexagonal pattern, like water exactly. And so, and if we look at, for example, what uh, people call solids, like glass, and for example, here we have silica material, we see that Allah designed silica material in a hexagonal pattern as well, like water. So we see glory be to Allah, God Almighty, that He has made from water every living thing, meaning that He, that everything we see around us is created from water, it has the same design. And this hexagonal shape that we saw in water, in everything around us, it is, we can understand its significance from verse number 88 of chapter 27 of the Quran, which states, and you see the mountains and the things they're solid, but they pass away as the passing away of the clouds. The manufacturing of Allah, who perfected all things, verily He is well acquainted what you do. So we see in this verse, brothers and sisters, that Allah the Almighty describes His creation by a process of manufacturing, the manufacturing of Allah. And any manufacturing process needs a manufacturer, and the manufacturer is Allah the Almighty. So, and any manuf and uh, to Allah belongs the best of examples. Um, any manufacturer, he puts a certain sign, a mark in his product that you know that this product came from that manufacturer. Any manufacturer, he puts a certain mark, a certain sign in his products that tells you that this product came from so and so. Now, Allah the Almighty placed a, ma a mark in his creation that tells you that this is the creation of Allah the Almighty which is the hexagonal shape. We see this hexagonal shape in humans, trees, insects, rocks, glass, everything in creation. We have this hexagonal, it's based on this hexagonal shape. And this is the mark of Allah Almighty's creation. So this has a great significance. Now, this is one hand. The other hand, uh, if you look at water and how energy propagates in water, you see that for example, if you drop a rock in a pond of water, energy propagates with concentric circles, and that is two-dimensional space. In three-dimensional space, there are concentric spheres. And energy is carried in water in waves. Energy is carried from one place to another in water in a form of waves. Now, if you look at how energy, the, the mechanics of energy transfer in uh, creation, we see that they are exactly like water. For example, if we look at the human body, in uh, how the signals produced from the brain, the human brain, and muscles, we see that they have the shape of water waves, like the energy propagation in water exactly. And if we look how how uh, mechanical energy propagates from its source, it propagates with concentric spheres, concentric circles from its source, exactly like energy propagation in water. So we see, brothers and sisters, how Allah created everything from water. So everything that's here around us, it's water in different shapes. And another kind of uh, aspect here to talk about, the question, is there something, is there anything that is dead in this creation? Is there anything dead in this creation? Now if we think about rocks, people think as a, rocks as a dead system. Now let's analyze this. If you look at the design of rocks, you see that they have the hexagonal shape. They are in an ancient hexagonal shape. Allah God Almighty designed rocks from the inside having hexagonal pattern, hexagonal shape. And if you, about energy, if you place uh, a sensor on, on a rock, for example, if you have a rock, and you isolate this rock from any kind of energy around it, and you place a sensor on the rock, you get signals, frequencies, when the rock is completely isolated from everything, it has its own intrinsic frequencies. So, since it has frequency, it has energy, so it's a, lot, it's a living system. Because Allah says in the Quran, that when He describes life, He describes that it vibrates and it grows. Allah describes in the Quran life by saying it vibrates and it grows. So any vibration indicates life. 
So rocks, it's a limbic system. And this correlates with a verse in the Quran where Allah Almighty states that everything he praises and glorifies Allah the Almighty, but to you cannot comprehend their praise. So me, this means that everything is living in the case, and everything is praising Allah the Almighty. So this is proven scientifically. Now coming to another aspect, coming to the angels again. Now I showed that the common explanation uh, by people for this verse is wrong, and I gave the example of the angels. Now. Can this new explanation that Allah the Almighty guided me to, can it explain the creation of angels? It can. How? As I said, uh, Prophet Muhammad peace upon him, taught us that the angels are created from light. And if you look how Allah the Almighty designed light, we see that light is composed of a small discrete amount of energy, which are now called photons. So Allah, we see that Allah designed these photons, He arranged these photons, in a hexagonal pattern, exactly like water. And we know that in light, energy is transferred like with waves. It propagates from one place to another with waves. So we see that the angels, they are designed like water. So how does this, all of this prove that there is only one God, Allah God Almighty, and the Prophet Muhammad is his messenger? Now, since we have the same sign in everything. This, we, say we have a one sign, not multiple signs, one sign, one methodology of creation in everything. So this means that there is only one God, Allah God Almighty. Because if there were other gods, then there would be different methodologies in creation, different signs and different techniques in creation. But we have only one technique, one method in creation, which is the design of water and energy as in water. So since there is only one method in creation, there is only one creator, there is only one manufacturer. Since there is only one method in creation, Allah designed everything from water, this means that there is only one manufacturer, Allah God Almighty. And Prophet Muhammad him, received the revelation of Allah Almighty, the Quran, so Prophet Muhammad him, is his messenger. So this proves from a scientific point of view that there is only one God, Allah God Almighty, and Prophet Muhammad is his messenger. So, how can we use this sign, this great sign of Allah God Almighty, in calling people to Allah God Almighty? Because Allah wants guidance for people and does not want their torment. Now, we can use this sign in three main aspects. Firstly, it's a test for disbelievers, those atheists that deny Allah God Almighty. When you as a Muslim, you show them this sign, you explain to them with kind words, with beautiful words, using wisdom, and then when you deliver this information, it's a test for that person, whether he will disbelieve or believe. That's a test for him. The second uh, aspect, it's, uh, it's for the Jews and the Christians to be sure that the Quran is from Allah God Almighty and the Islam is the religion of truth, when they see this great sign of Allah God Almighty. And the third aspect is that you as a believer, when you see the sign of Allah, you will increase in faith, and that this will give you means to strive to make the word of Christ supreme. Because people say, some people say, that I want to, to make Allah God Almighty supreme, uh, His word supreme, and I want to strive to make Him victorious. But I, can't, I don't know how. This is how. By showing these signs of, of, uh, of Allah God Almighty to people, and calling people to, to the Almighty. And to know more details about this topic, please visit my website at www. Quran-miracle.com and you can email me at zquran.com and may the peace and mercy of Allah be upon you all.